Good morning. Good it is morning. Monday morning, April 19th, and we're talking today about unchanging identity. From Galatians 3.26, it says, In Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. Again, that's Galatians 3.26. Let's pray. Amen. Dear Lord, we just thank you for your love for us. We thank you that we are your children, that you watch over us, that you help us, that you guide us. Thank you for your unfailing love. Be with us today, Lord, and guide our thoughts, guide our words, guide our actions. May they be pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So talking about unchanging identity today out of Galatians 3, Galatians 3.26, it says, Good times and hard times come and go, but your identity always stays the same. Loved, wanted, known, and created by Christ. He identifies you as forgiven, cherished, planned, and given purpose. Whenever your sense of identity is shaken, focus on who you are in Christ. When life is calm, prepare for its, its storms by establishing your roots deeper into God's word. Then when life's challenges do come, you will find yourself able to stand strong in God's truth rather than being overcome by circumstances. When I think about my own story, especially about learning in my early 30s that I was adopted, I honestly believe that I avoided years of grief, anger, resentment, confusion, and even therapy because I knew the word. When I saw my birth certificate for the first time and it said I was unnamed, I knew God's word says he called me before I was born and from my mother's womb he spoke my name in Isaiah 49.1. When your sense of identity is challenged, you'll find sure defense by fully grasping who you are in Christ, who you are in his word, and you are his child created in his image, loaded with all of who he is, Genesis 1.27. Thank you, God, that I am your child. I am wanted, cherished, known, valued, worthy, and loaded with purpose. I am so thankful for my life in you. Amen. 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 This is a really good devotion. Yes, it is. I like this. I like everything that it says about it. Part of me just wants to reread it over again because it just has so much life in it, so much love in it that we are always loved, wanted, known, and we were created by God. God Amen. doesn't make trash. He doesn't make things that aren't useful. Nor mistakes. No. So you are loved. Amen. Amen. No matter how your life began, where, when, who was around you, you are loved. Amen. And you know, I understand and relate to this very well because I was adopted. But, you know, I knew early on in my, in my young, young years that I was adopted because I knew my biological father. But knowing this, that, and what has helped me as I became a Christian, uh, realizing that I was worth something and that even though I may not have been wanted in one way, God has always wanted me, Amen. always planned me, always had a plan for my life. And maybe that's you. And, and whether whether you're adopted or not, the fact is God has had all those things for you always. If you read Psalm 139, he talks about that very thing that he had plans for you even when he was forming you in your mother's womb. He had plans for you. So you have an identity even before you were actually born out of your mother's womb yeah. and when he was putting you together. So that speaks volumes. Knitting you together. You know, right. I, I've just learned how to crochet and so it's a lot of work to get that done and it's every little hook every little you could ravel it away by pulling on the string but thinking about that how God knitted us together mm -hmm. Amen. it wasn't a boom there you were it was a little piece by little piece by little step he planned out your life and so Amen. once again you are loved amen so let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for this Monday, the beginning of this week. We pray, God, that you would bless each one as they come on and they listen to this today, that you would just meet them where they're at, that they would understand that whether adopted or not, the fact is this, that you loved us, you've planned for us, you have created us, you have given us identity in you, and we are so thankful for that. I pray that you bless each one as they start this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. Have a great Monday. And remember, keep
Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep looking up. God bless you.